Well, everybody, I don't know about you lot, wherever you are in the country or in the world, but uh, winter has arrived. As I've said a few times, I'm sure some of you heard me say it, we've still got March to go yet, the month of March. And uh, historically, we've always had the, the worst weather in, uh, well, say the worst weather, the most snow. Well, the coldest temperatures probably, since we've been living where we live uh, in March. So um, what I'm doing at the moment is just uh, gaffer taping along here. Um, what did the world do before gaffer taping? What a marvellous invention. The rule, the rule of the universe, if it takes more than three rolls of gaffer tape, it's properly broken. <laughs> it's unfixable then, isn't it? A bit of, and a bit of super glue. But uh, I'm just putting this tape on here, and what it's doing is just going to protect the inner tube when it goes in there, so make sure there's no sharp edges at all. Not that there was, to say the truth, because they had a good old sanding down and they've been varnished and paint, painted and varnished and so on and so forth. And uh, one more thing, nice little uh, top tip here for any of you doing these wheels. If you have a look, there's a couple of holes in the rims and uh, always give them a, a bit of, uh, let's get that tube in there, there you go. A bit of WD in there. But tell you the truth, uh, uh, if you haven't got that, a bit of... Uh, a bit of diesel probably do the same or whatever i don't know i'm not sure but a bit of wd in there because these rims are hollow and they can get condensation in them and rot from the out from the inside out so it's just uh once again future proofing them rob rob critchlow loves it when i say future proofing it uh, but those are turning out nice aren't they ready to have the tubes and tires put back on them by the end of the day not that it's going to happen today, and I'll show you why. Have a look at this. In fact, it's making me a bit snow blind, to tell you the truth. I'm having to squint here to stand here. What's that behind you? Um, so people often say to us when they come up here and visit us and come and see especially if they're from down south they say Chris do you get snow up here yeah yeah you get snowed in yes we do so what do you do well stay by the fire normally however the temperature is really lifted it's probably heading towards uh, certainly five six degrees I reckon the way it feels so I'm going to be able to get on with a bit of stuff however don't count your eggs too soon are you looking at me Oh, the dog and the all the icicles hanging off the roof there as well. Um, don't count your chickens yet because it's going to get really cold. Okay, so on top of this snow, it's going to freeze. And I don't know about the rest of the country, but here there's a good chance it might get down to about minus 11. Uh, so it definitely means we ain't going down that hill because it'll be like cool runnings. Me and the camera lady there, <laughs> let's get ready. Let's get right down the slope there. So uh, we won't be going anywhere until it's gone. And I think probably by next week, it will be gone. Winter will be gone again. So we'll see what happens after that. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe, stay warm, but still be productive.